Ich den Bock. Oh, look at that. Both of them, male and female. And I'm usually relaxed as well. Look at how beautiful that is. It's not often you get to get this close to them. It's quite a large male, relatively speaking, for a Stienbach. Look at those long horns. That's gorgeous antelope. Really is. There's the female. Normally, this is quite a young female still, but normally the females are actually a bit larger than the males. Reverse sexual size dimorphism is something you find quite often with, with monogamous species. Animals that pair bond, you find that normally females get larger than males. find it in a lot of eagle species. There's ears just carefully listening around, just checking the surroundings. Obviously very good eyesight, good smell as well. But like a lot of antelope archer, they're very reliant on their sense of hearing. Especially they're quite small, so they're low down, so you're looking into a lot of grass and bush. It's not as easy to spot things at a distance. But you can certainly hear them. Fantastic view. Quite specialized feeders as well. They mix feeders to an extent. But obviously they're quite small antelope, but also have quite a small mouth. So they can be quite specific as to what parts they eat. If you look at something like a buffalo or even some of your larger antelopes, they're not that specific. They eat sort of general parts of grass or leaves, whatever their diet is. But in the case of stenbuck, they can eat specifically the nice little green leaves on a tree or the new shoots on grass so they can be more selective as to the quality of food that they consume. view of them. Hey little guys. Stenbuck are also territorial. Both the male and female occupy an area together. So we'll check this road again every now and again. See if we can spend more time with this pair. Fantastic to see them this relaxed. Look at the male again as well. Very, very good looking male. You see him just nibbling there at some some kind of weed actually that he's eating there. Now he's marking different there, he's not eating. Let's see if he does it again. They've got these pre-orbital glands or glands on the faces that they leave scent marks on little twigs and branches around their territory. Their way of through scent letting other steenbuck that might move into the area know that there's already occupants around. <laughs> 